So I'm going to start with breakfast. Today I'm going to start with Rice Krispies. So it's a cinnamon flavored Rice Krispies with powdered milk and my bananas. So we're keeping it kind of light this morning. So because I don't have milk, I'm going to use the skim milk. So one cup of water and four tablespoons of the powdered skim milk. So you just mix it really well, and that's it. There's your milk. Jay's not too fond of cereal, so you might not have cereals, cereal this morning. You might just have a banana and a yogurt, or a banana and a, and a piece of toast. He's not up yet, so you haven't decided. Okay, so that's my milk. So now I'm just going to add about oh, just enough to get quite a bit in there. Still have some left. Like I said, Jay's probably not going to have any of this because he's not too fond of cereal. And I'm not going to add sugar to this because it has a cinnamon flavor, but I'm going to add the banana for the sweetness. Can you hear it? Snap, crackle, popping. Like the commercial says. And I'm just going to slice the banana into my cereal. And that is my breakfast. Okay, guys. This cereal is so amazing. I don't care what Jay's saying. He's going to eat this today. Yeah, he's not going to make himself toast. He's going to eat this cereal because it's freaking delicious. I am in love with it. And I'm positive that he'll love this. The cinnamon in it, so good. Oh, and with the bananas, oh, oh. So he's going to have that for breakfast today. How's your cereal this morning? Pretty good. Better than I thought it was going to be. I told you, man. Cereal sometimes is good. Mm -hmm. I thought, well, Rice Krispies with cinnamon? Yeah. You love cinnamon, so. Mm -hmm. So would you have that again this week? Because we still have some more for this week. That's a bonus up, man. There we go. So today for lunch, I'm going to make tomato soup, natty style. So I'm not making it homemade, but I'm going to make it the way I enjoy it. So you can try it for yourself at home. This is the way I like to make it. This is the way I love it. And Jay tends to like it too. So let's turn the camera around so I can show you how to make Natty's favorite way to eat tomato soup. Okay, and for a side to go with this tomato soup, I'm going to use up my bread. Well, some of my bread that I made last week. So I made a couple loaves of bread, and I have one and a half left in the fridge. So I'm going to cut it up, make garlic bread in the air fryer, and tomato soup. Okay, so let's make this garlic bread. Garlic bread. Garlic bread. Oh, garlic bread. Yeah, I'm still singing. I'm feeling, I'm feeling a lot better today. Just my appetite is not the greatest. But we're still going to do these videos. Because it's what I do, right? It's what I do. So we're going to put lots of butter on there. It's a very simple way of doing it. You just put the butter. And then you put a little bit of garlic. I'm going to put powdered garlic. And then 
and just put it in the air fryer for four minutes. So by the time the tomato soup, jeez, by the time the tomato soup comes out, it'll be ready. So it's as simple as that, guys. Just a little dash, sprinkle, 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 and in the air fryer for four minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in right now on low. And once the can's in there, you turn the air fryer on. So you got one can of tomato soup. Then you fill the can of tomato soup, or the can, with some distilled water. Unless you drink tap water, but I don't drink tap water. Blech. I say that, but once in a while I'll sneak in some tap water just because I'm lazy. Or I run out of, you know, that kind of stuff. So now that I have that in there, I don't have any milk. People use, you can use uh, water if you like it more acidic. But if you like it a little milder, you put some milk, right? But I don't have milk, so I'm going to use two teaspoons of that powdered milk I have from the pantry. So I'm using the powdered milk from the pantry and the tomato soup. So you don't put this in when it's hot, you put it in when it's cold. Okay, and that's it. Just put it in there and stir it. And you put in the other stuff in a little bit. So you're gonna wanna whisk this now. It makes it thicker which is okay so i'm gonna add some green chives now you could add fresh fresh is always best but i don't have fresh right now in the summer i tend to have a lot of chives but i have the dry chives the dehydrated chives so i'm gonna put some chives in there put as much as you like i put quite a bit and i also once in a while will put basil and today i'm feeling like basil so i'm gonna put some fresh basil So this is three fresh leaves from my windowsill. So I'm gonna cut that up. Put them in there real nice. And because I'm not feeling the greatest, I'm gonna add some pepper. Because it will help kill off a little bit of that stuff that's going on. It's a little pepper is good. Just add a little spiced away, you know? You put uh, cayenne pepper, once in a while I'll put cayenne pepper, but I'm not gonna do that this time. And you just mix it until it's ready. It's gonna be ready when it gets to the temperature that you like. And look at that. Mm. So in, I'd say another minute there, and our garlic bread is ready. So there we go. Lunch in minutes. So because I put water on the can and added that skim milk, so it's like a can of milk and a can of tomato soup, it makes two nice bowls of soup. And there we go. Now, usually you can use soda crackers. I like soda crackers, but I really, really enjoy chow mein noodles. These orange chow mein noodles that I pick up. I'm gonna have to pick some more up because I'm running out. But this is what I really enjoy in my soup. And this is how I enjoy my tomato soup. So this sh this shouldn't take too long to make. I'm just concocting as I go here. I'm gonna use up what I can from the pantry today. So um, I have this Romano cheese and basil flavored Primo pasta sauce. So I'm going to use some of that. I'm not going to use the entire can jar. Sorry. I'm not going to use the entire can 
but I'm going to use some of it. Okay, so now that our can's open, we're going to use about half, half the can. And then we're going to take this pack of mild taco sauce that I had from a taco kit. That's from my pantry. Now, the reason I wanted to use the sauce is because I wouldn't have enough sauce to spread out on top of those pierogies. I might have to add a little water because usually you have to boil the pierogies. I don't know. I've never baked the pierogies like this in the oven. So I'm just going to add just a little bit of water. So not even half a cup. Just to say that it's a little bit more runny because it's pretty thick. Now I want to cut down the acidity of the tomato because like I said, my stomach is not feeling the greatest, right? So I'm going to add a little bit of the powdered milk in there just to cut down the acidity. And then stir it in. There we go. Now I'm going to add some of those yellow and red peppers. Uh, these are the ones that I made back in 2022. And that was uh, late April. So let me just try one. Yep. So once in a while, I'll put that on pizza. I'm just going to put some in there just to give it an extra boost. Mix that up real good. There we go. Okay. So we're going to put a, we're going to start putting the rest of this. So we're going to start putting that in the casserole dish. So just scoop it in there. A little bit at the bottom. Spread it out just so it doesn't stick. going to take the pierogies and just line them up. Place them all nicely. Well, looky, looky, we just had enough. We just had enough. So these ones are potato, cheddar, cheese, and bacon flavored. So now I don't have any more pierogies left in my freezer, which is okay. We don't need pierogies too often. Just wanted to finish up that bag that was open. Get that out of my freezer and use up the stuff from my pantry. Okay, so now that they're smothered in the sauce, the taco sauce, I'm going to try this Black Diamond Extra Old Cheddar Cheese that I picked up on a haul um, last week. So... I haven't tried it yet, guys, so I don't know how good it is. So we're going to put some of that on here tonight. And we're going to taste test it as well. Actually, I'm going to taste test it right now. It's a little piece there. It's strong. It's a nice... It's got a nice... Nice flavor, but it's nothing spectacular. Tastes like cheese to me. So cheese, cheese, cheese. Let's put some cheese on there. Now sinking. I'm gonna have to put some panko on there. Panko breadcrumbs from the pantry. some on top just like that just to add something to it Got some 
a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, and it goes in the oven. Or sorry, yeah, oven. And it goes in the oven. So I have it at 390. I'm gonna put it in there for 25 minutes, but I'm gonna put a foil on top first, and then we're gonna check on it. So we'll see how we'll still have a can of Primo. Well, half a can of Primo. So I'm just gonna put that in the jar, put it in the fridge, and we still have the dehydrated peppers, of course, and the pancos. Well, I guess that wasn't long enough, so I put it in for another 25 minutes, and we're gonna see if that's gonna be long. Hopefully it is. I really don't like my stove. It doesn't cook right. Sometimes it overcooks. Sometimes it doesn't cook right. Sometimes, oh, I really don't like the stove. I like the older stoves. The older stoves are the best. All right, so let's put this on this cutting board now because it's ready. Yum, yum, yummy, yummy, yummy. Bam! Do 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 do. It looks so good. Bam! Taco pierogies, guys. Taco pierogies. So I'm going to have to cut a little piece and see if the pierogi is actually ready. It should be ready, guys. It was in there for 45, 50 minutes. Yeah, it was like about 50 minutes. So I'll take this pierogi. So we're, we're eating a little earlier because Jay has to go out tonight. So we're going to eat a little earlier. So there's two here. Oh yeah, it looks definitely ready. Okay, so that's the pierogi inside. Let's take a bite of this. Taste test time! Oh my god. Oh, oh my god, Jay. Oh my god, Jay. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Get on the camera, Jay, yeah. Okay. This is very hot, hun. Yeah, I can see the steam coming off it. Get yourself a fork. Because I don't want you to use my fork. Not today. Okay? Did you show the camera? Mm-hmm. Well, I'll show you this side. See this side here? See the pierogi? It's really good. Oh, there's cheese on top too. So mm -hmm. that old cheddar when it's when it's baked like that, oh, it's so good. Mm. First bite, and you it tastes the uh, the cheese, the cheese and the tomato sauce. It's, almost, it's almost good. Tastes like a pizza. Mm. That is good. For leftover pierogies in my freezer, a packet of taco sauce from a taco kit. That's the other flavor. Panko. <laughs> that was easy. Oh, and a little bit of sauce from the sauce, uh, the primo sauce there. But yeah, that's pretty awesome. Mm. I'm quite impressed. Me too. I'm going to wait till it cools down a little bit. I think I'm going to eat it right now. I'm going to wait a little bit, but I think I'll eat some now. I'll have a couple. That would even be good if... Oh, wait, I want to try it. Let's try this. I was going to say, I'm going to take a nacho chip and I'm going to see if it actually tastes good. I just had that thought. Concoction time! It's not really concoction time, but I could actually probably take these nacho chips, crumble them on top, and it'd be so good too. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to try it like this. Can I see that chip for a bit? Take chip? Not your chip. My chip. <laughs> this is not your, ah, you're funny, huh? Come in here. Okay. Mm. So I'm going to dip it in there. Or actually, you know what? Even having one pierogi on it, yeah. or a couple pierogies. 
I like that sauce. Even that as a dipping sauce, with all the pierogies and just put the cheese and the taco seasoning and the sauce. Oh my god. Okay, grab the plate. You need a plate. Okay, guys. Throw a chip on top of that. We're getting exciting now. Throw, throw a chip on top of that plate. Because it wasn't. Throw, throw a chip on. Like I'm digesting proper. Properly. Yeah, yeah. Throw so throw right. a chip on top of there, please. <laughs> Not your chip, my chip. I was trying to pay attention to the camera and the viewers out there. So there we go. Mm. Why don't you put it underneath? It's more logical, isn't it? And then you can just grab it like that and just use it as a shovel. Yeah, uh, better. There. Oh, that's a sandwich. Make a little sandwich with it. Well, get it in here. Show the people at home. Get closer. Here, I'll get it out of the way so you can get right in there. Get right in there. I'm getting right in there. Look at that. It's hot. Ooh, it's hot. Back away a little bit. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's a nice picture for the for the thumbnail. Yeah, this chip is good. Mm. I love these chips. And with this nacho stuff, mm -hmm. it's the bomb. Try not to burn yourself when you eat these things. Oh my god, they're good. Okay, excuse oh. me. Mm -hmm. Excuse oh. me. Thank you. All right. Well, guys, that's it for today. That's day, day two, day two of the uh, tantric cleanup. So keep on watching. I'll be back again tomorrow for day three of my videos. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.